Watercolor Painting Four Trees by Egon Schiele. Supplies include watercolor paints, watercolor paper, 9x12, and a 9x6 practice sheet. Supplies needed from past projects, paint brushes, oil pastels. Additional supplies needed. Cup of water, pencil, Q-tip, paper towels, paper plate for a palette, and tape. We recommend that you tape your paper down to cardboard, a book, or a table because the paper will bow when wet. Take a look at the image we have enclosed and use this as your visual guide. Grab your pencil and draw a horizontal line the width of your paper 12 inches, starting from the middle of your paper across the page. Have the line slightly dip down and then back up again. We are creating a landscape drawing that will turn into a watercolor landscape painting. Add another horizontal line below that line, varying slightly up and down. Make another horizontal line below that second line, but make it more straight across. Draw one more line below the third, closer to the bottom of the page. Next, at the middle of your first line, create a small mountain scene. Slightly above where your mountain begins, draw a small circle to represent the sun. Draw a line below your sun. Create five or six lines going across the page above the sun. Close to the third line down of our land, we're going to be creating our first tree. Keep in mind that we'll be making another tree closer to the sun, so make your tree shapes relatively small. We won't bother drawing each leaf of the first tree. Instead, we'll paint them. The second tree shapes are thinner and more limb-based than the first. Feel free to let your artistic spirit take over and not try to replicate exactly what Sheila painted. Create however many branches and limbs that you like. It might be easier to make just a general tree shape with your pencil and then use your brush to create more of the detail with the branches. The third tree shape overlaps the center of the mountain on the second line down on our land. All you may need is the general shape of the tree until about three quarters of the way up the tree. Again, leave the leaves for the brushwork. The fourth tree shapes are halfway between the end of the mountain range and the end of the page. Keep your pencil lines thin. We will be introducing you to the concept of cool and warm tones. Warm colors such as red, yellow, and orange evoke warmth because they remind us of things like the sun or fire. Cool colors such as blue, green, and purple or violet evoke a cool feeling because they remind us of things like water or grass. How to mix colors. Red plus yellow equal orange. Red plus blue equal purple. Blue plus yellow equal green. Red plus green equal brown. Next, we're going to mix up some light washes for the sky. We'll start with some warm tones first. Use a larger brush to grab some water and squeeze a small amount of red from the tube to your plate. To get a light red, dip your brush in enough water and dab your brush into the red to get some pigment. Mix the water with the red on the plate. Do the same with the orange. To make orange, mix yellow and red. You can use a small piece of scrap paper to practice your washes and brush strokes. Some of your colors can blend into each other on the page. 
you can bounce around your page, adding light orange to the middle of the page and some pale red near the top and near the sun. Both will work next to each other, and there might be some color bleeding, which will give you an ethereal, airy quality. But if it becomes too much, you can also blot using a paper towel. Add some light orange to the green pasture in between the first two trees and then near the last tree and the bottom portion of the painting. Now let's mix some cool tones. We'll dilute some blue with our large brush by loading up our brush with water and squeezing a small amount of blue pigment onto our plate. We want there to be plenty of water to create a wash of color so you'll want the consistency to be pretty watery. We'll add more depth and darker color as the painting progresses. Before applying the cooler tones, wait until the warmer colors are dry. That way you won't have the light orange and blue mixing together in your sky, creating a greenish hue. You can mix a darker green for the pasture by mixing green with brown and even a little blue. Make sure to load your brush up with water after mixing your colors to create your wash. Use your small sized brush to paint the mountain range with some blue and go back into the sky with the same blue tone. You can outline the mountain with some purple. To make purple, mix red and blue to give it more definition. When painting the trees, take into account if you are right-handed or left-handed. If you are left-handed, you'll want to start painting your trees from the right to left so that you don't smear the paint. Vice versa if you are right-handed. The trees may vary in color from orange-brown, dark brown, and greenish-black to blue-black, but you can paint them any color you want. Using a medium or small round brush, paint your trees from the bottom up. Moving from the trunk outward, create your limbs. The leaves are reddish brown, orange brown, dark brown, and a blackish green. But again, have fun and mix whatever color you'd like your tree leaves to be. With your small size brush at a 45 degree angle, you can get a nice leaf shape by dabbing the brush to the paper. You can practice first on a piece of scrap paper to figure out the best method for you. You'll want some of the leaves to bleed into each other where the leaves are fuller looking. After painting the leaves, start on the side that is the driest and with your oil pastels, mark some green on top of the pasture. You can layer some black on top and under the area using a Q-tip to blend the tones together. Egon Schiele was an Austrian painter. A protege of Gustav Klimt, Schiele was a major figurative painter of the early 20th century. His work is noted for its intensity and its raw sexuality and the many self-portraits the artist produced, including nude self-portraits. The twisted body shapes and expressive lines that characterize Schiele's paintings and drawings mark the artist as an early exponent of expressionism. In 1907, Schiele sought out Gustav Klimt, who generously mentored young artists. Klimt took an interest in the young Schiele, buying his drawings, offering to exchange them for some of his own, arranging models for him, and introducing him to potential patrons. He also introduced Schiele to Wiener Werkstatt, the arts and crafts workshop connected to the secession. Schiele's earliest works between 1907 and 1909 contain strong similarities with those of Klimt, as well as influences from Art Nouveau. In 1908, Schiele had his first exhibition in Klosterneberg. Schiele left the academy in 1909 after completing his third year and founded Neukunst Group, New Art Group, with other dissatisfied students. In his early years, Schiele was strongly influenced by Klimt and Kokoschka. Although imitations of their styles, particularly with their former, are noticeably visible in Schiele's first works, he soon evolved his own distinctive style. 
Move around the page, adding highlights with your orange and yellow and light blue. Again, if you prefer different colors or want your painting to be less moody, feel free to use lighter colors in your pasture area. Moving from the pasture to the sky, add some light touches of blue with some long round movements. Blend with a Q-tip. Add a little orange and yellow to the center of the sky and fill in any areas between branches that need defining with some pops of color. Put a smudge of orange inside the sun and make a circle around the outside of the sun with yellow. Congratulations on completing your watercolor and oil pastel expressionistic landscape. Make sure to sign your work. Created and produced by Jessica Burnett and April Sullivan, an ArtSpark Texas production. Copyright 2020. Thank you to our funders, Texas Commission on the Arts, St. David's Foundation, Cultural Arts City of Austin, National Endowments for the Arts Creative Forces, Austin Public Library, and Donald D. Hamill Foundation.